Okay, second half um, uh, of lesson 4.3, um, we're going to utilize the same coordinate point definitions um, for our six basic trig function values. Um, we'll look at some different examples, uh, not necessarily points that are on a unit circle, um, but still how we can apply those definitions to, um, to any point, um, really. Okay, so first example, the given point is on the terminal side of angle theta, find the six trigonometric function values. So let's draw this first if you want. Uh, the point is at negative four, negative six, which means we are going four units to the left and six units down right there. So when it says the point is on the terminal side of angle theta, it means that this there's our angle theta. Okay. Uh, now the way that we are going to solve this problem is we are going to create what we call a reference triangle. Um, we're going to just the way I do it is I just go from my point straight up or down to the x-axis and across right there. And so really we can end up doing this two ways. We can do it um, with our sine cosine tangent uh, like opposite adjacent hypotenuse definitions. It's negative four, this is negative six. Um, or we can do it with the x, y, and r definitions, the, the point definitions from the last lesson. And I'll kind of explain it both ways as we do this problem. Um, no matter which kind of method we go about doing it, we're going to need to find what the, the hypotenuse, the, the r for this um, triangle is. And we'll use Pythagorean's theorem to do that. We could say that negative 4 squared plus negative 6 squared equals c squared, so that's 16, and 36 equals c squared, so c squared is 52. And 52, um, let's see, 52, does it divide by 4? It does. So this is 2 square root of 13. Okay. So let's see the sine of our angle theta. There's two ways I can think of the sine. I can think of it as, um, well, we can think of it as the y over r. If I do it like that, the y value of the point is negative 6. The r is 2 square root of 13. I could also think of the sine as the opposite over the hypotenuse. Here's my, my angle inside the triangle. Opposite is negative 6. Hypotenuse is 2 square root of 13, and, and either way I think of it, either as the point definitions or with the opposite adjacent hypotenuse definitions, I get to the same thing. Um, so it really doesn't matter how I do it. Um, now if I were simplifying these, I would reduce and make it maybe negative 3 over square root of 13, I'd bring that up. So I'd get negative 3 square root of 13 over 13. Okay, so we've got sine theta is negative 3 square root of 13 over 13. Now we also want the other 5. Okay. Um, cosecant, let's just do it real quick. Um, for cosecant, I'm going to take the most simplified form I had for sine, which is here, and I'm just going to flip it over. So I have uh, negative square root of 13 over 3. Okay, so there's sine and cosecant done. Uh, cosine. Cosine is, uh, I think of cosine, again, as the x divided by r. 
So it's the x here divided by the r, or the x divided by the r, or the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Lots of ways to see it, that are all going to get to the same thing. Um, so I would write it out like this, with the negative 4. Okay. Um, let's just do that work right here. Negative 4 over 2 square root of 13, bring up the radical. Negative 4 square root of 13 over 2, reduce down, we get negative 2 square root of 13 oops, over 13. Forgot the 13. So we have negative 2 square root of 13 over 13. Um, if I were to flip that over, negative square root of 13 over 2. Tangent, a little easier. Tangent is, I can think of tangent as opposite over adjacent, or y over x. Um, so y over x, opposite over adjacent. Either way, I end up with negative 6 over negative 4, which is 3 halves. Cotangent is the reciprocal, 2 thirds. And we've got it. Next one, the given point is on the terminal side of angle theta. Find the six trigonometric function values. Same type of problem. Um, if you want to go ahead and sketch a graph of this, you can. This one plots five to the right, two down. So the angle that we want is this angle. Now in order to find that angle, again we use this little uh, reference triangle. We're going to right there. We use that angle theta and you can use opposite adjacent hypotenuse definitions. You'll get the same and correct values for the, the true angle theta there. Um, let's see, this is 5, this is negative 2. Uh, this side comes from Pythagorean's theorem, 5 squared plus negative 2 squared equals c squared. It's 25 plus 4, which is 29 equals c squared. So c is the square root of 29. Okay, with that we are ready uh, to begin. We want the sine of theta cosine, tan of theta. Uh, the sine is the y value over the r value. So it is, I'll do the scratch work here, it's negative 2 over square root of 29, bring up the square root, we end up with negative 2 square root of 29 over 29. While we're at it, let's get the cosecant because it's just this one flipped over negative square root of 29 over 2. Cosine, it's the, I'll do it down here, cosine, it's the x value, 5 over the r. Bring up the radical, we get 5 square root of 29 over 29. The secant, why we're at it, is this one reciprocated. There. Tangent is typically the easy one in these types of problems. It's the, it avoids the square root anyway. It's the opposite over the adjacent or the y over the x. So negative two fifths. Cotangent is its reciprocal, negative five halves. There's our answer. Okay, the last example of this type, and one that's a little unique, is what do you do with a point that's actually on one of your x-y axes? If I were to look at this one here, uh, the point negative 3, 0 is out here. So I want that angle theta. I can't really draw up or down to the x-axis to make a triangle here. If I can't 
construct a triangle, I cannot use um, the opposite adjacent hypotenuse definitions. I'm going to, have to use the x, y, r definitions for this problem. Okay, um, so let's see how that would look. Sine of theta. Sine is the y over r. So the y value of this point is uh, 0. The r value is the distance from the origin point to the, to the point. So the r value is 3. So the sine, do it right here. Sine of theta is 0. Uh, cosine of theta, it is the uh, x divided by r. So negative 3 divided by 3 would be negative 1. Tangent of theta is the y divided by the x. 0 divided by negative 3, 0. Cosecant, secant, cotangent. So for cosecant, uh, let's write up here cosecant was r divided by y. In this case that is 3 divided by 0. We cannot divide by 0. So say this is undefined. Secant is cosine's reciprocal. Cotangent is tangent's reciprocal and just like up here what ended up being the reciprocal of 0 is undefined. Same thing down here. And we've got it.